Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Bruce Meldrum, and I've been working here at TV1 for 10 years. I am the head of the R&D department, so based in our Maidenhead office in the UK. When I'm not looking after the team of engineers here, I am a fully qualified ski instructor. I take great pleasure at throwing myself down a hill at high speed whenever the opportunity avails itself. Part of my day-to-day -day role here in the team is to make sure that we're delivering the features that customers want. Um, we have a mixed team of engineers here from mechanical, electrical, electronic, firmware, software, user interface, and bringing all those things together is a key part of my role. Every day is a challenge. R&D, we're always doing something new, something we haven't done before. Everything we're doing is innovative and um, we need to make sure that it matches what you need. And I'm working with a team of enthusiastic engineers who are doing everything they can to give you everything that you want, which is a key enjoyable part of my role. So you go, that, that's Bruce. Um, he's one of the really good guy here producing uh, the things that you're after. Um, th this is a picture of uh, the uh, Paralympics homecoming party here in the UK. We, we uh, Hippotizer was also powered the, uh, the, the Olympics uh, homecoming uh, as well. Um, I put this up because in this section, I'm going to be joined by uh, Nigel uh, Sadler for, from uh, Green Hippo. And we're going to be talking uh, about control. So, uh, and this will lead us really nicely into our control competition and then into uh, what AV over IP, what, why we need to get it right. So I'm, I'm not going to dwell on this. This is, if you're into control, um, uh, APIs are all available at the single uh, site, api.tvon.com. They're free to download. Okay, so you don't have to pay a penny. Uh, they're there. If you're a programmer, you'll be able to understand the difference that so that that's just so you know so some examples of, of control I'll, I'll just talk briefly about a, a tv1 application i'll show you the video later uh, but this is warwick university um it's about um if you're not from the uk it's about an hour north of, of london um and also about an hour from here as it happens and essentially it's two lecture theaters one on on top of each other um and in the front of the control uh, they've got a control panel uh, I think I can't read. I think it says Extron under the, the label. I can't quite see it here. Um, and um, they've, they've got the normal stuff, the visualizers, you know, guest laptop, PC, um, cameras, all that sort of thing going on a, a double edge blend with multiple windows. What, what's really interesting, and this is the rack of gear. Um, so this is the uh, the Corio Master uh, and five one LAN players, the 4K one LAN players. And they're powering the signage on the outside uh, of the uh, of the, the lecture theatre, so right on the, the backside. And and what's interesting, we've got multi-point control going on. So there's the AV techs have got control. There's two touch panels, one in each lecture theatre. The, the Corio Master here, the presets are being fired off um, by control from one of the signage players. So we pick up the one land CMS, and that that fires us off. So if, if in the past you've used Corio Master and, and you, the, the, the single point of control was, was something that was stopping using us. Now we can have up to five points of control. Uh, and as well as, um, you know, API, we also have choreographer, soft, choreographer software, and uh, we also have apps and things like that as well now. I am though, and um, this is, uh, uh, <laughs> this is, this is Glastonbury. So this is the festival that's famous for amazing music, amazing uh, highlight acts, especially on the Saturday night and lots of mud. Um, this is Genesis uh, down there. And this is the, the, the Dan Hey, Hey Nigel, how are you? Hey, how are you? You're right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. No, it's, it's great to have you here. Um, you'd be pleased to, pleased to know I found a lot of sensible photograph, a corporate photo just for the beginning of this. So, because I know you, you are a trendy, trendy dude. You, you do a lot of uh, uh, mixing video for, for live, uh, live uh, concerts yourself, don't you? I do indeed. I'm lucky enough to actually uh, work on quite a few uh, big projects like this. Um, but yeah, this one was a, a, really, a really interesting project because um, it, it got the creative juices flowing as well. As you say, it's, uh, it's a place called uh, Genesis. It's an eight-story uh, structure built in the middle of the field out in the centre of Glastonbury. It's been there since 2013. Um, and it uses 
some of the very latest uh, projection mapping technology. It's actually got two 35K uh, projectors projecting on the front of it, plus a whole host, as you can see, of lights. And uh, right down at the bottom there, that little guy in a box is the DJ. Um, so it gives you a bit of an idea of the scale. Um, when we were approached to do this, um, we were asked for a, a number of things. One was to provide a, a video source that could provide uh, graphics to play back on the system. Um, but we, uh, we were brought in by a company that had developed a real-time uh, system for doing the graphics. As you saw there just a moment ago, that the building was completely moving with uh, the beat of the music. Um, and this is uh, partly generated by a, a third party plugin. But what they wanted to do was they had to mix that alongside um, with graphics that came from the DJs. The DJs were bringing their own laptops with graphics. We had a lighting operator that was choosing what the overall color was, and he was using DMX. Um, to set what the color of the lights was and therefore what the color of the environment was. We had guest operators that didn't understand how the real-time system worked, so they needed to, to plug their systems in and put their video into the right parts of the system. And we also had operators for the building itself that knew nothing about the complex control uh, parameters that the real-time system had. And the real-time system had about... I think it was about 600, 650 different parameters that could be moved. And so what we did is we used Hypnotizer as a central control merger, if you like. It was able to take video from multiple sources, from the real-time system, from the DJs, and also from its own library. It could mix those to, to feed the video signal, but it could also then take MIDI from uh, the guest VJs. It could take... Uh, timecode information from the DJs, DMX information from the lighting guys, and a touchscreen interface that we created specifically for the event, which is basically a delivered web page. So it could take all that in, and then it could send out the relevant information to those different parties to tell them what was happening at any one point. Um, and that ran over a weekend uh, for, uh, I think, about 30-odd uh, hours in total. Um, so yeah, so this was a it was a great um, project to look at because it used so many different types of control protocols. So, and the point here is here is we've just given you a couple of examples, um, but there undoubtedly, Nigel, you've got probably hundreds of customers who, or thousands who've made up control systems like this. I know the other day you're talking, you showed me an example at the European game there. We actually yep. controlled grass growing in 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 a in a stadium. Look, just look at the what what which year was it? And people can look it up on the internet. So that was uh, the European Games in Baku. I think that was twenty fourteen. Uh, yeah, there'll be videos on YouTube for that. And, and yes, I'll put that definitely as one of the weirdest requests. <laughs> uh, we want to use um, basically an animated video created with a, a pen to control the growing of flowers and grass over an arena, uh, a full arena st uh, stadium floor. Um, and so basically they created real live video by um, using like a, a live pen, if you like, and then merged that with video inside Hypnotizer. We converted those video pixels into uh, a control signal that was then sent out to the pitch. And literally you can see the grass growing on the pitch in the pattern of the video that was created. So yes, uh, definitely a, an interesting one. <laughs> <laughs> so and there's thousands of those out there for, for the Choreo Master family and also for, for the, the Hypnotizer family product.